हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ ऑटो नंबर वी लर्न व्हाट इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ ऑटो नंबर हाउ टू यूज इट वेयर टू यूज इट दैट एग्जांपल वाज लिमिटेड टू अ सिंगल फील्ड मींस वी हैव इंप्लीमेंटेड ऑटो नंबर ऑन अ सिंगल फील्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट ऑटो नंबर ऑन कॉम्पोजिट फील्ड दिस इज द डेटा सेट व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फॉर दिस एग्जांपल वी हैव डेटा ऑफ सेल्स कॉस्ट एंड प्रॉफिट by category country customer and month year same way we have sales target by country customer category and month year and profit target for every category by month year so we will first load this data of sales so i have already created data connection and now i am going to load sales data first uh, let me select all three and what i will do i will just comment out these two tables and our main table is sales table and now i will load the data and to save our time i have already created a table at the front end which is having all fields of sales so you can see we have all the fields here month year is coming as numeric format when click is reading date fields from excel file sometimes it is convert into numeric format so what we will do we will first convert this month year to month start and then and then we will use the floor function and convert to our desired month year format and i will say month year and we'll see at the front end how it looks like so we have now proper month year format now we are going to load our second table so that's our sales target table and once i will load this table we will get synthetic table and synthetic key because category country customer and month here these four fields are duplicating in both the tables so if we see the data model we have synthetic table so this type of cases what we have to do is we have to create a composite key in both the tables so first of all i will create a composite key here so to create the composite key i will say country then i will use the pipe symbol to separate out country category customer and our month year field so our month year field is transform here so i will use this and i will say my key field 1 we can even use customer here and category here it depends what you want to do but the order should be same in both the table we have seen that this month year format was not coming proper when we loaded the sales table so time being i will comment out this table i will load only sales target table and then we'll see how this sales target table month year is coming so at the front end i have created one table having all the fields of sales target we can see from the table that sales target is in text format because click is not able to read it properly so if you have follow my previous videos of interpretation and formatting function we need to interpret this month year field as month year we can also confirm that this month year is in text format from the data model if we select the month year you can see it is text format so to interpret this as a time stamp or date or numeric format we have to use date has function which is a interpretation function and we are telling click that this is a month year field in this format now mostly whenever i am facing this type of issue and i have to create month year field i always use again month start so all the date fields will start from the first of the month and then i will use floor function and i will say date function and in your date function i will say convert to this date format and say month year 
Now once I load this, it will be right align and if you see the data model, month year will be numeric integer timestamp. That means it is in a dual and proper date format. So now I will load both the tables and I have to create same field here as well. So the key field one I have to create here and because the date format is different, the month here is different, I will simply replace this month here here and once I load this, we still have synthetic key but now we have one more field added. So now I can create a link table. So I will create a link table here and I will say load distinct and first I will load this key field and all this field here from the sales table and I can simply say month here and here I will say resident of my sales table. Same way I have to load all these fields from my sales target table and because these fields are same I can say concatenate my link table and now we will have a link table as well. So we will see the data model. So now we have a link table here. Now to remove this synthetic table, we have to drop category, country, customer and month here from respective tables. So what we will do, we will only keep those fields inside link table, but we are going to remove them from the sales table and sales target table. So here I will say drop fields and then category, country, customer, month year from sales table and the same field we have to drop from sales target table. And now once we load this data, we can see from the data model that we don't have synthetic table now. Now this long field, right now this key field is a combination of four fields but it could be possible that in your data model you will see that you have six fields, seven fields, something like that and we only have 325 lines here but in a real scenario you might have millions of lines. Application will consume more RAM because of this long key field. To reduce the RAM usage, what we can do is, we can use the auto number function. So here I will use auto number function. I will say auto number my this field, whole field and the same way I will say auto number my this whole field. And now once I load the data, we will get the same result but the key field is now auto number so that means it will be a numeric value. You can see how we are getting the numeric value. Now we will load another table. So the third table is our profit target table and here I will say profit target and when I load this table we have another synthetic table now. This time it is based on your category and month year. So we also have to remove this. To remove this synthetic table, we can create another key field. So from the profit target, I will say category and join with month year with pipe symbol and I will say key now I don't need to create the same field here in my sales table because we already have more granular level key which is a percentage key field 1 based on the few fields but these two fields are already part of that. So what I can do here is 
where I have created the link table and I have done resident of sales, I can create here this field and I will say concatenate of my link table and I will say load distinct my percentage key to field month year and category resident of my profit target table and I have to drop fields like month year and category from my profit target table. So once I load this data at the data model we can see that we have another table join with the link table. Now the way I have used auto number on key field 1 I will use auto number in key field 2. So to do that I will use auto number function here and same way I have to use here. And now in data model we can see that key field 1 and key field 2 both are having numeric integer value. Now I will create two tables here. In first table I will add key field 1 and in second table I will add key field 2. So now we can see that key field 1 is starting from 1 and ending at 325 and key field 2 is start starting from 326 and ending at 450. We should have key field 2 also start from 1. To do that I have to use auto id. So auto id I can write anything but this should be common for key field 1. So for the key field 1 I will use key field 1 as auto id and for key field 2 I will use key field 2. And now once I load this you will see that we have key field 2 also starting from 1 and going up to 450 and key field 1 also starting from 1 and going up to 325. You can see that we have used auto number function at various places. At this stage it is at 4 places. But say we don't want to use auto number fun function at many places. But still we want our script to perform auto number. To do that you can use something like this. You can say auto number key field 1 and key field 2. And I will remove my auto number from here. For all the places. And now I will load the data. And if we see the data model, then you can see that we are still getting auto number values as integer. This way, the auto number for key field 1 will start from 1 and key field 2 will also start from number 1. But if you want auto number in a continuous mode, so that means when key field 1 auto number will finish, key field 2 auto number will start or key field 1 and key field 2 auto number both together in a sequence, then you can use something like this. This using percentage key field 1. So if you do this then auto number 1 will finish at 325 and auto number 2 will start from 326. So it will be in a sequence. 
so you don't you will not have two different instance of auto number index we can also use auto number something like this so here i can do while call character star and with a single quote so once i do this every field which is starting from percentage key in my data model will automatically get converted into numeric format using the auto number function so we will see that we are getting the same result as previous script if i will add here country and if i will say i will say rename field country to to percentage country and once i load the data you can see that percentage country is still showing as same numbers in same format so instead of percentage key now if i will use percentage and then star then percentage country will also converted to numeric field using the auto number function so you can see now the output so this percentage country i have shown you for example purpose you don't have to do this hope you understand how this auto number function works please wait for my another video till then thanks and have a good day